Okay, we are talking about the uh, concert tour uh, desktop publisher simulation uh, t-shirt uh, assignment. Uh, this should take about 30 minutes to do. It's not real difficult. Uh, it's on pages uh, 53 through 56 in your book. So basically, when you're done, you're going to create... You're going to open up a InDesign document, and you're going to have a shirt, and then you're going to design what it is. Now, if you've ever been to a concert, uh, you know concert tour t-shirts have, like, tour dates, the logo, and um, information and date of the concert. Uh, so let's talk about this for, for, for a second. Capitalizing on free publicity, you will be receiving from the free concert in the park. You are going to sell t-shirts at the concert. Your friends will have agreed to sell the shirts at the booth and will set up near the entrance of the concert. Hopefully your band will generate some revenue from the sales to use for future marketing efforts. In this project... You'll use your desktop publishing skills to design a concert t-shirt to sell at your free concert. After the design is complete, I will screen print. Uh, we're not going to print it on a t-shirt or nothing. Um, so uh, what, we're, what are we designing? They include a design printed on them uh, referred to as novelty tees. Novelty t-shirts offer businesses a, wa a walking from form of free advertising. The t-shirt designs take on many forms, shapes, and sizes from simple text to detailed graphics. It can include text or and or graphics printed on the front, back, and even the sleeves. So uh, be sure you read the design tips. Now what must be on this shirt? What must you do? It must include an eye-catching headline that captures the theme of the free concert. Uh, it says that's optional. Your band's logo must be on there that you designed. Your band's slogan or tagline, that's optional. Uh, the date and location of the free concert. Don't leave that out because that's what most people uh, forget to put on there. And that, that's what I count off. The names and pictures of each member of your band, that's optional, but that's an idea. Uh, the, ba the band's uh, website address is optional. And additional text and or graphic images that will help make your t-shirt an attractive selling piece. So make sure you include all that if you can. Um, remember what's optional and what is not. So you're going to format the size and placement of the text. Uh, if you go to eLearn, I got examples of uh, different uh, shirts. Now some people opted to do the front and back, which I really like. Um, we got this front and back, and then this one's just the front. But uh, to get started, you, you need to look at the page set up uh, information in the book. It says it needs to be an end in design, eight and a half by 11 page, 0.75 inches on all side portrait. Um, so let's talk about s setting this up. You're going to open up InDesign, create a new document, make sure that your preferences, uh, units and increments are inches for horizontal and vertical. Create a new document. Margins are 0.75 inches. On all sides, it's portrait, 8.5 by 11. Click OK. <clears throat> now, I'll give you the choice. You can do one T-shirt that fills the whole page, or you can do two, which is front and back. Now, uh, you could either draw your T-shirt outline, or you can go to Google and type T-shirt. And go to images. And 
and there's template right here at the top. And um, here's a good front and back one. Click on that. View image. Right click. Save image as. Uh, you can put it in your six, six weeks folder or uh, download it to your desktop. And then save. And then go back to InDesign and just go File, Place. Go to where you uh, download it to. Where is it at? Oh, T-shirt template. Click Open. Place it on there. You might uh, resize it. Right click and choose uh, fitting, fit uh, content to frame. There you go. And then you're going to uh, put your logo and text and design it on top of the shirt, the sleeves. You can do the front and the back. If you just want to do one shirt, you would just. Uh, make the whole shirt uh, fill the page. Um, I will not count off if you'd rather uh, the, the page be landscape. And that way you can fit the uh, shirts uh, better and make them, make them bigger. Um, so just go uh, layout, let's see, file, document setup. You can make it uh, portrait. I won't count off for, for that. And uh, you can turn turn it turn it around. This way. And and si resize it. But uh add everything uh, it says. Uh, let's look at the uh, Stonehenge example has the logo, has the location, and the date. And look, they put the, uh, they put the uh, website right below. So that, that's a good, good design right there. So, so if you could do something similar to that, that would be great. Does anybody have any questions about the t-shirt? All righty then. Uh, be sure you save it in your six, six weeks folder and turn it in the Dropbox.